Hi, uh, I'm Katherine Robinson. I'm part of the team Game Base. Um, this is our final presentation for Comp 305. Our game is called Deadly Plague 2020 Survive the Virus. So, uh, basically, our game uh, the player controls a young boy named Nick. Uh, his main objective is to reach his home um, in the middle of the pandemic. Uh, he'll have different tasks he has to complete um, so he can get home uh, for the first level. Uh, his goal is to reach the grocery store without getting caught by the virus. Um, he can pick up masks along the way that will make it so the uh, virus won't follow him and try to attack him. Uh, once he reaches the grocery store, uh, that goes into the second level. Uh, for this level, he needs to obtain 10 items that are scattered throughout the, um, the store. Um, this also introduces our second enemy type, which is infected civilians um, who just have a set path, so they're not following him, but the original virus will still follow him if he's not wearing a mask. Um, in this level, you'll also have be able to obtain the hand sanitizer spray gun, which he can use to attack the, um, the virus. Once he gets uh, 10 items from the grocery store, uh, he'll be able to leave uh, for into the third level, which he'll have to uh, destroy the main uh, virus variant boss. Uh, once he does that, um, throughout that level, the boss will move depending on how much health he has left. He'll try to like uh, uh, get away from the player. Uh, the new, a second new uh, hand sanitizer will be available. Uh, it does uh, more damage than the original one and can spread over a wider radius. Uh, once the main boss is dead, uh, the final objective uh, is to cure civilians. So he'll be able to pick up the antidote and shoot the infected civilians uh, to finish the level. Um, we came up the, with this concept based on current events. Uh, it's very hard to ignore what's happening around us, so it heavily influenced our um, our design of this game uh, as we've been living in this pandemic for the last year and a half. Uh, yeah. So for the planning stage, um, our original concept was just that the player was lost in the middle of a pandemic and they just had to reach their home. It was very basic. Uh, this developed into the grocery store level where, um, you know, instead of being lost, they had to go and get supplies and then return home. Uh, it also developed into having a final boss with different variants of the virus trying to attack them, as well as uh, curing civilians. Um, our original designs were much smaller uh, and much more basic. Um, our grocery store sketch. Uh, we include like a parking lot in it as opposed to just having a wider map and for level one and three to then go into the grocery store for level two. Um, and you can see on the right hand side those are original sketches. Um, and our final design, uh, the, the map is a lot more bigger and it even developed even more from level one to level three. We had a whole other sections to it. And yeah. Hi, Professor. This is Fonsi. I'm going to cover the next two slides how to play and uh, demo of our game. Uh, coming to the controllers, uh, using the WASD keys and our arrow keys, uh, we can control the player movements and we can fire uh, using left mouse click. And coming to the gameplay, uh, our level is level one. Object of the level one will be uh, player will be in a city where he need to find the grocery store, avoiding all the viruses surrounding him. Uh, he can collect a few masks uh, which will help him protect him from the viruses coming to the level two he will enter into that store and he need to collect the food supplies in that store uh, without, by escaping uh, all the enemies one will be the virus type and here uh, there will be an additional enemy which will be people uh, infected by the virus you need to avoid uh, these two enemy types and coming to the third level he comes out of the store and he will realize that uh, there was a main alien ship which was spreading these viruses so he will try to defeat that virus and after that he will find an antidote in that ship and using that uh, he will cure few civilians. So this is how it goes. And 
the next slide, uh, I will provide you a demo of our game plan. Uh, this is our game menu screen. And we can see different menu options, new game, select levels, PC, we can select different levels which we want to play. And uh, controllers, and quick settings, and for new game. Uh, in the new game, we can see that uh, a screen displaying what is our message, and it's like what is our game going to be. And in this, uh, basically it will be, we need to help Nick uh, to find a grocery store. And uh, he need to do that by avoiding viruses. And he can collect masks which will help him uh, to avoid viruses. Let's play the game. So this is our character Nick. And, he can, and we can control his movements using double JST keys. And we can see here this is the mask. And if we collect this mask, he can avoid these viruses. This is the mini map. You can toggle it off and on. Now I toggle it off. So this is the virus. When it hits me, like uh, my health will be reduced. So if I have the mask, uh, uh, these viruses cannot do anything to me. See. Once the mask is gone, again uh, I will be attacked by the virus. If I collect the mask, again these viruses will not do anything. Once he reaches the grocery store, if he reaches the main entrance, level is completed here. And the next level will take us to the next level. So next level it is basically say like uh, you need to find a 10 grocery items uh, and to finish this level and you need to avoid the virus along with uh, you need to avoid few people who are infected with the virus. If you collect this blue sanitizer bottle, he will get uh, he will be able to fire at the viruses also. So let's play this level. So, yeah, so we'll, once we collect the virus, this virus will stop. So this is the sanitizer gun. Once we collect the sanitizer gun, we will be able to fire bull sanitizer bullets. See by using this bullet, we can kill the viruses. So. So once mask is gone, these viruses will start attacking us. We can kill them using these uh, bullets. These bullets will not work with these uh, enemies. If you accidentally hit them, see half the health will be gone. So we need to avoid them at any cost. And these are the supplies, we need to collect them. So minimum 10 supplies, we collect them. Once we collect 10 supplies, uh, we will win the game. Once 10 supplies are collected, we need to return back to the level. Uh, so that this level is completed. If we accidentally hit them twice, once our health is gone, our game will be over. We can go to main menu and we can play the level again. So this is the third level. And in this level, basically, you need to find that main alien ship, uh, which is uh, distributing viruses among the city. We need to kill it and then we need to collect the antidote and using that we need to cure people. So let's play this level. So basically, first we need to roam around the city and uh, find the alien ship where it is available. So once we need to find the alien ship, we need to attack it. So we can see health of the alien ship here. Once its health got distributing, it will, uh, it will disappear and uh, appear in a different place. This is one more different type of gun. If you collect this, actually we are having single bullet. If you collect this one, we will have a triple bullets, enhancer bullets. You can see it here. Once we kill the uh, alien ship, uh, we will get a message like we had successfully killed the alien ship. And we need to collect this antidote and using it we need to cure some people, civilians. So we can collect this antidote from here. So once we collect the antidote, uh, the number of people we need to cure will get activated. Just by firing at them, we can cure them. So one is done. So once you cure all the people, then it will say congratulations. Uh, we took a rest of the city and the game is done. Next level, it will take us to the main menu. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Mohammad Shaheen. And uh, for this project, I'm going to talk about the lesson learned from this project as well as the future possibilities of this project. Uh, in this, uh, while doing this project, we learned uh, the use of waypoint in Unity and how to make the player move. And after that, uh, building a game's UI like the menu screen and the pause screen, then uh, building a map using tile maps, then the health system in game, and we also learned about teamwork as it was a group project. Future possibilities of this game are uh, we are more likely to uh, add uh, level pro more level provisions and compatibility of controller for multiplayer uh, mobile device support as well as customize, uh, customizable cosmetic like uh, player skin or outfit yeah thank you